Music, camping, fun, and games was the weekend scene at the Calumet Lions Park Friday and Saturday as folks came from across the Keweenaw and beyond to take part in the third annual Dam Jam Music Festival. It's a wonderful thing to have, you know, so many people together having a good time, and that's uh, uh, that's the biggest thing is is that we get to have a lot of fun this weekend. As the festival continues to grow and evolve, the music lineup has changed a little over the past three years. Our first year was all local, and we've been able to bring in some some bands such as Eric Koskinen and Congress and Mene from out of town that, that have some local roots. You know, and we've been able to bring in more vendors and, and more people. We're probably closing in on a thousand people over the course of the weekend, so. We've been able to really expand Expand the jam. With over 20 musical acts throughout the weekend, showgoers heard some of their favorite tunes and a few new ones as well, all still true to the UP music scene. We love the music and, and we wanna we want to, you know, spread our love of music and be able to raise money for good causes and have a lot of fun. Many of the proceeds raised will go towards improvements at the park. Last year's efforts paid for the construction and installation of outhouses. Future projects planned include the construction of a pavilion and the installation of permanent electricity. This year and previous dam jams have been powered completely by generators. Another way that the event gives back to the community is in the form of food donations. We have a can drive every Saturday of the dam jam for New Beginnings Angel Mission to help with the food pantry in Calumet. Instead of paying the $20 admission price on Saturday, patrons who brought a comparable value in non-perishable food items got in at no charge. With all of the donated items forwarded to the mission, who gives food, clothing, and other goods to area families. As this year's festival has come to a close, Newman says that he and his team are already looking ahead and planning for next year. It's been a lot of, a lot of work and a lot of fun to see what's, you know, how things have changed over the last three years, and we hope to make it year four, five, six, and seven as well. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC10 and the CW5.